It's your boy Ngun in the house, back with another bang on video with ladies and gentlemen, unbelievable news for you guys. I mean, Mikel Arteta has revealed the reason that there has been an improvement in the Gunners defending recently. He says they have to enjoy defending as well. It is a big part of the game. Um, also, he said that white players before used to have different behaviors. Now they are tracking back. If someone loses the ball, they should get that ball as quickly as possible. Well, Czech Fabregas has re had really a very good response, you know, since uh, AFC Newsroom actually posted on this day in 2006, Arsenal went on to Real Madrid and won 1-0 at the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium. We all know that uh, Thierry Henry's solo goal, but it was assisted by none, none other than Czech Fabregas. He said, uh, actually, uh, uh, you know, tagging that post, you don't see many assists like this anymore. I mean, cheeky from Fabregas, isn't it? But moving on. Bukayo Saka was voted man of the match in the Arsenal's 1-0 win over Olympiacos last night. While it was voted for by the Arsenal fans on their official Twitter page, Saka received 48% of the 35,000 votes that actually came in. Totally deserved according to me as well. But moving on. Well, uh... The white players are now behaving in a different way. They are tracking back and we are doing a lot more to stay compact when we don't have the ball. And I'm really pleased with that, said Arteta. There are a few lessons within that game for us and some great things for our development as well as a team. Well, this is what was posted by Alex Lacazette. It's a difficult game last night but happy to get on the score sheet. Thanks to the team for the hard work. And Bukai Saka commented R number 9 and Lacazette wanting to, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's actually trying to be an agent wanting uh, um, uh, Bukai Saka to sign a new contract. He should, he should. I mean, unbelievable. Lacazette is one a hell of a team, man. But moving on, Dani Sabayas posted this hard battle yesterday at Greece. Great result to fight for the qualifying round in the return match at home. Our minds are already set on the match against Everton. Let's go, Ghana as well. We all know what happened. Thierry Henry destroyed uh, Real Madrid on this day. But here's what Charles Watts actually said about Mustafi. Mustafi said this, that life is not only football. That's something I kept remembering to myself. I'm a father to two kids. I try to focus on this. And that, that's true, I guess. Yeah, it's really, really true. I mean, the abuse that a, a player gets uh, for a game, beat any sport, you know, at the end of the day, you, you try to, you, you, you end up breaking the man. That's what happened with Granit Xhaka. And look what Granit Xhaka has become under Mikel Arteta. I mean, come on, guys. You need to understand this. But moving on. Arsenal have sent scouts to the Serie A in order to find out more uh, about Roma player Brian Cristante. Though Cristante has only one goal and two assists in the Serie A this season. But what has praised or what made Arsenal actually to scout him is his work rate. His work rate is unbelievable. And it believes that his physicality is would make him a good fit for the Premiership. But moving on. Well, Arsenal boss is also eyeing on a potential summer signing of Carlos Solier from Valencia. The Spanish midfielder has a release clause. You know, Arsenal would have to break the bank. It's one forty million pounds, and is rumored to be a target of Arteta's next transfer window. Let's see. I don't think so. I don't think so. They're gonna do that. Well, here's what uh, you know. Vina Venkatesham actually explained the fact how Arsenal actually sign a player and what happens. <clears throat> he said that the natural order of things was the first. Select the position. We would like to strengthen and the characteristics of the player we would like in that position. Uh, we would then identify players against those criteria and position. Then the, uh, this will be led by Edu and our technical uh, <coughs> internal experts, of course, heavily involving Mikel Arteta. After that, we would assess against our budget and other players' needs to determine the preferred players. It is only at that stage we identify the agent of the preferred players. Raul stressed that the agent is a key person regarding the final decision of where the player is going. Therefore, it is a competitive advantage to have the strongest trusting relationships with the agent. Raul also explained that uh, there has been no change that the identity of the agent was a natural consequence of whoever our preferred player target is from a technical perspective. We're willing to deal with all the agents and have good working relationships with, the, with a large number of agents around the world. Well... Let's see how things will pan out. Well, these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. All the views and news and everything about Arsenal comes on this platform every single day twice. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon because when you do that, you get two videos about Arsenal every single day. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers. And if you're a new subscriber, yeah, thank you so much for trusting me. You won't be disappointed.